Welcome back to the channel. Today we are counting down the most hideous snowmobiles on planet Earth. These are, in my opinion, the biggest failures in design over the last 20 years. The number 5 sled to be whipped with the ugly stick is the 2010 Polaris Russian Switchback. One would think that the designers at Polaris would have learned from the number 2 sled on our list that no matter how good it works, riders just don't want a sled that looks like half the tunnel fell off. I had the opportunity to test ride one of these in the 800cc flavor, and it worked really well, but I wouldn't shell out any coin for this monstrosity of an otherwise good-looking sled. Maybe that's why all the Polaris riders back their sleds into the parking spots. You decide. Number four on our list of hideous sleds your girlfriend wouldn't want to be seen on is the Skidoo Freestyle. This air-cooled sled is loud and looks like a bug. You'll be noticed on this sled as the air-cooled single cylinder screams to be put out of its misery. It's neither fun or comfortable. Maybe it would be okay for kids 10 feet away after 10 o'clock at night. Number three on our list is the Yamaha Vector. This sled has four strokes, one for power and three for wearing out the motor. Seems like the designers at Yamaha were at a loss for what to do, so they took an old wave runner and stuck skis on it. I mean, just look at it. The reality is that these were durable sleds with power steering, which was needed for this half ton of fun. You can still find these sleds for sale all over, but don't buy one unless you can ignore the laughs. Next on the failure list is the 2003 Skidoo Rev. 20 years ago, Skidoo designers had a serious lapse in judgment. The only thing saving the Skidoo Rev Beaver Tail Edition from number one is its revolutionary design and decent looking front end. Even Skidoo acknowledged that it was ugly by saying that riders would need to spend a long time with it to appreciate it. You know you have an ugly sled when the aftermarket sells a kit that reattaches the tunnel to make it look normal. If you're still holding on to one of these sleds, you better snap one of those kits up before they are gone. Last but not least on our top five sleds that need to be put out of their misery is the Arctic Cat Twin Spar Chassis. Like the Skidoo Beaver Tail, the designers in Thief River Falls at least got half of it right. And in this case, it was the back half. You'll be the butt of the jokes with this edition, Arctic Cat, as if you wouldn't be already made fun of just for riding one. These are actually really good handling sleds, but don't forget to pack a space blanket and a fire extinguisher. These are Arctic Cats, after all. I hope you enjoyed this walk down Ugly Street, and if you wouldn't mind, like and subscribe the channel. It helps me out more than you know. And thanks for watching.